friends out in YouTube land, Asenva here again for another video, an official Junkie Spot review. What am I reviewing today? I am going to be reviewing the do-it-yourself acrylic eye kit. The eye kit that is available on the Junkie Spot. This is a 16 millimeter, I already opened it, this is a 16 millimeter acrylic eye pack kit set thingy. And it comes with 10 eyes, uh, 10 eyes total, not like 10. Ten eyes total. This is my favorite part. Instructions written by Emery because they are funny and hilarious and I like it a lot. So on the Junkie Spot website, they are available in 12 millimeters, 14 millimeters, and 16 millimeters. I'm gonna do a quick rundown of what exactly is in the kit, and then we're gonna have some fun. Inside the kit, you get a whole bunch of little eyeball pieces. Let me introduce you to the little eyeball pieces. You have the Back cap, which is this guy right here, and it has a stem. Front cap, which is like where the dome is located. The disc, and the clear lens. So it's these four pieces that you're gonna be clicking together and using to assemble your acrylic eye. This piece and this piece are gonna be partners, and this piece and this piece are gonna be partners, if you think of it that way. So, of course, this the assembly is gonna come after you do the painting. Um, but so let's pretend that I painted the eyes and um, and I'll show you once I have painted my eyes But this is this is just kind of like a really quick rundown of how you would put it together These two pieces are partners essentially this piece right here, which is the disc You're gonna have this part with the lower part um, That's jutting downwards. This is gonna go into the stem part of the eye the back cap and that's gonna whoop, click into place like that. So that part of the assembly will be finished. And then these two are partners. The clear lens in the front cap, this is gonna obviously, you're gonna want it to be with the dome facing towards the outside. So you're gonna stick that one in there. So that way essentially you have like the dome on the outside, the flat part in the inside. And then, once that is complete, you would just go ahead and click it into place. And you're just gonna continue to press it together once you've pressed the pieces together, your eye is complete, and it should look like this. Um, obviously, I don't have any paint on this, uh, but I will show you what it will look like with paint on it and kind of me painting some of the eyes. But this is essentially the end goal. This is what you're going to have um, when you're completely done and you've assembled it. All right, so verbatim, according to the instructions, it says... The manufacturer recommends to paint directly onto the back of the clear lens part, which is this piece. To do this, you will want to paint in reverse order if you are doing this in layers. What this means is that you will want to paint any pupil highlight first, then the pupil, and then any iris highlights, and finally the base iris. Allow time to fully dry. Although the manufacturer states that painting directly on the clear lens will give the best results, if you are not comfortable painting in reverse order, you can also paint directly onto the large side of the disc piece. One side of the disc is larger than the other. Alternately, you can print out stickers or paper inserts to attach to the larger side of the disc or clear lens, allow to dry. So what we're talking about here is if you choose to paint on this piece, that you need to paint on the large Part of it, don't paint on this side, paint on this side. But the recommended way to paint is to paint on the flat side of the dome. So you'd be painting on this side here. So the sky's the limit when you start painting and doing your own eyes. You really could do anything. Like it's stated in the instructions, you could print out a small picture and put it onto the eye. I have a bunch of these little nail art things that I may or may not put in some of my eyes that would be really cute. And uh, you're just painting. So I mean, I don't think you really need to go out and buy like super crazy like specific paints. I happen to have a lot of nail polish. So what I'm actually gonna be doing is I'm gonna use some of my nail polish that I have because I have a lot that have like glitter and things like that in them. And I'm gonna be painting onto the eyes using the glitter. I even have like really thin like design nail paint stuff. So I'm gonna be using a lot of these things that I have. Um, to help me create my eyes. Uh, funny story, I actually don't have any black nail polish. I'm actually gonna be using some acrylic black paint that I do have. I have a set of small brushes here. I have a brush cleaner. I have some water. 
So I'm ready to do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. And I am gonna be painting um, onto the clear lens part, and then I might add some other things to this base. So I have um, the first initial base, which is the little parts that show up first if you were to think about it in layers. The little black iris, the little white little thingies because I'm going to make look anime looking eyes. And then I would do some colors and things like that on the outside. Now, this is what I have done so far. So this is actually the white chip on the flat side and I put the color, I chose to put the color on that side. And then this right here is the actual eye with the iris. And I went ahead and I made some designs. I have a cute little glitter thing in there. And when I'm done, I'm gonna be able to put the two pieces together and it should match up really nice and look really cute. So here are my pieces that I've done. I learned from this one. And so I put all my detail pieces on this part and just the color on that part. And once they dry, I will assemble them and you will see how they look and hopefully they will look kind of cute. So now that I have the discs in, the next part I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go ahead and get the domes where the clear inserts need to be popped into, which are these. And I'm gonna put the eyes that I made, which are these, into it. So I'm gonna flip it down and I'm gonna push it in. So I pushed it in, so you can already see the eye kind of coming together. The clear discs are already in, so now all I have to do is put the disc with the stem. So I'm just going to put this together. And now I have some eyes that I made. I <laughs> think. I think he looks pretty cool on him, actually. Very sparkly, which is what I like. And I actually happened to make another set of eyes with the little nail design things that I have. And so this is what it was. It was a little flower and I put a black pupil in it. So these are both eyes in. I think they turned out really good. Even my really like not so awesome one that I did over here. I think this one looks really cool with the flower in it. And that's what they look like up close. I hope you guys enjoyed this review slash how-to video on the do-it-yourself eye kit available at the Junkie Spot. That is www.junkiespot.com and they do also offer a whole range of other really cool stuff aside from these really awesome do-it-yourself acrylic eye kits. They do have dolls, they have uh, supplies, different types of products that you can buy through the website there. Hope you guys have a dolly-tastic day and I'll see you guys in another video very soon.